Hello and welcome to Informatica Supports Video KV Session. This is Karthik Rajendran. In this video, we'll be seeing how to define a list of input documents for data transformation project. Usually, we give a single input to the data transformation project. So in this video, we'll see how to stream multiple files which is having the same structure as input for the same data transformation project. This is basically nothing but an equivalent of passing a file list to an application where you pass the file name and location and the application reads the contents of all the files in that location for processing. Let's go to the demo now. So I already have an existing project and you can see this is the input for the project and this project basically parses this file with this particular structure into an XML file so if I run this project and you can see the output file right here and this is basically an XML structure and you can see uh, the, in, uh, the input file has been parsed out into XML structure in this format and you can see there are two persons because the input file contains uh, entries for two person. So let's say I have multiple files with similar entries and so now the challenge is to read from this file list. So basically uh, there are multiple files with the same structure and instead of merging all these files together as one file and reading it from data transformation, uh, we need to just pass this location where all these files are present and have data transformation read uh, the contents of all these files and process it. So how to do this? So basically if you expand the parser here there is an option called sources to extract. In the sources to extract, you need to do the file, uh, select the file search option if you want to uh, read from multiple files. And basically, once you select the file search option, you have to provide the directory where all the files are located and you have a wildcard. Wildcard is nothing but the criteria for choosing the files. Star dot star it's basically going to choose all the files in the directory that you provide. Let's say in, in my case star dot star would work because all the files that are in that particular directory are inputs for this project. They are of same structure. But in case there are various files then you can give some other wildcard like star dot txt or whatever the extension may be to distinguish between the files that are needed only for this project. So now let me go ahead and choose the directory where all these files are present. So this is the directory where all the files are present. And I'll click OK. So now let me go ahead and run this project. And if we go and see the output, now we see it's read from all the files and we have output for three, four, six persons. So if you want to read from a file list, you have to do uh, use the sources to extract option. Uh, that's the way to effectively uh, read from a file list. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, we would uh, love to hear back from you. And you can send your feedbacks to support videos at informatica.com or you can do the same at pusher.com slash infosupport. Thank you.